For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com. Thank you. We are going to solve try this page number 201 chapter 8 similar triangles. In this problem, it is given that triangle PQ are E and F are the two points on the sides PQ and PR respectively and each of the following statement whether EF is parallel to QR or not and PE value, EQ value, PF and FR values are given first given data written as in triangle PQR E comma F are the points on PQ and PR to check whether EF is parallel to QR, we have to find the corresponding ratios. PE by EQ is equal to written as 3.9 by 3. After cancellation, we get 1.3. And other ratio, PF by FR is written as 3.6 by 2.4. After cancellation, we get 3 by 2. And further cancellation, we get 1.5. Here 1.3 is not equal to 1.5. So we can say that PE by EQ not equal to PF by FR. From this we can say that EF is not parallel to QR. We have another triangle PQR with measurements P is equal to 4 cm, Q is equal to 4.5 cm and PF is equal to 8 cm and RF is equal to 9 cm. To check whether EF is parallel to QR, we have to find the ratios of the corresponding sides. So PE by Q is written as 4 by 4.5. Next corresponding sides ratio PF by RF is written as 8 by 9. After cancellation, we get 4 by 4.5. These two ratios are equal. So we can say that EF is parallel to QR. PQR is given and that EF are the points on PQ and ER. Here E is the point on extended line PQ and F is the point on extended line PR. So we have to check EF is parallel to QR or not. Because we take EF external because PE measurement is more than PQ and PF measurement is more than PR. So first of all, we have to check the ratios of the corresponding sides. PQ by PE is equal to 1.28 by 1.8. We get 0 0.64 by 0 0.9. And other corresponding sides ratio PR by PF is equal to 2.56 by 3.6. After cancellation, we get 0. 64 by 0.9 these two ratios are equal so we can say that pq by pe is equal to pr by pf therefore from this we can say that ef is parallel to qr please like share subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon for more information visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com thank you